Hello everyone and welcome to this first proper episode of my Java tutorial series. If you watched uh, the last episode, you should now have the JDK, the JRE and Atom installed. So let's cut straight to the chase and open up Atom. And here we go. Uh, this is the screen that you will be prompted with uh, when you're first opening the Atom uh, editor and let's go ahead and open a project and uh, I have mine in documents learning Java and select folder uh, you can obviously put it wherever you want but for the rest of the windows you will just want to close them like this and you should have this empty folder with not much happening so right now we want to create a new file so we'll go to file, new file, or just control click plus N. You will be prompted with this and uh, let's go ahead and just save, uh, which is control S. And here we go, we can call it, call our project wherever, whatever we want. I'll just call mine episode1.java. And uh, the dot .java is important because that means this file will be interpreted as Java source code um, and make sure it's not .java.txt make sure select all files here and save uh, for now just ignore the actual setup uh, I'll come back to that later but for now just do as I do and follow my instructions so uh, a basic shell of a Java program is uh, public uh, class and whatever your file name is so mine is episode one like this and curly brackets and enter and this is uh, the basic start and when the Java compiler looks for the start of your code it will always execute the main function first which is you can you all you have to do is uh, type ma and uh, atom will all automatically recognize that this is a java program and then just click enter and it will fill all this in if it doesn't fill it in just type it out it should take you just a few seconds and now we have our very basic Java program. If we were to run it now, nothing would happen. In fact, we can do that now. Uh, what you want to do is uh, go here down on your Windows um, icon down here and type CMD, which is uh, short for command prompt. There we go. Open it up and you want to navigate to the folder uh, that you saved your um, project then. As for me it's documents and CD means change directory and documents and I want to change directory once again so CD learning Java like this. Enter and here we go if we look at all the files it is 82 bytes of episode 1.java which sounds sounds fair enough to me it's basically what we've made and to compile it we use a uh, program called Java C or Java or whatever you want to call it <coughs> like this and then you use episode 1 dot Java and this will compile your program it shouldn't give us any errors there we go, it's compiled and as you can see up here uh, Learning Java now has two files, it's episode 1.class and episode 1.java We can go ahead and look on the class and it will just be a lot of rubbish really uh, So that's not the one you want to worry about But the uh, Java runtime environment uses the episode 1.class file to run your program So to r actually run our program we'll just type java and episode 1 
uh, not the dot class uh, extension just because it is so they made it that way uh, don't don't ask me why and then click enter and it should run your program but obviously nothing happens because we haven't made it do anything yet so that is the topic of, the, of this video uh, we're going to make it do something and uh, to make it type some text in this uh, command prompt we use a system call called system dot out dot print ln and parentheses and semicolon now we could do this and it wouldn't do anything still it will just do the exact same but we want to uh, print some text and to do that you use these quotation marks like this and type your desired text um, in my case we'll just do hello world and save this go back to your command prompt run the java c episode 1.java command it should compile there we go no error messages and then run java episode 1 hello world that's that's what our program did so stay tuned for the next episode where we will uh, go into strings and variables and data types and all that crazy good good stuff so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope i see you guys for the next video bye bye